Hello viewers, welcome once again to my new screencast. Today I I will present and demonstrate one new microservice RESTful API application for the document management systems. So for this screencast, it will be the multi-part screencast from the from the development and testing and external configuration and deployment. All step has to be done by uh, this uh, those screencast so this is the multi-part screencast the the first part is the is the requirements for the for the for the um, for the projects uh, for building these projects so if you see the the diagrams the flow diagrams so we have the some set of the backend server and then we develop our our document management restful apis and then the end of the and the user is the is the web user web developer will call or we integrate our released apis and they do the web development based on this release api release api and then here i already talk about that uh, this screen screenshot about the the service oriented architecture and and web services web apis and you can you can watch the the previous screencast about more detail about these those apis so the possibilities which technologies uh, were available in our web service technologies and we have we already talk about that one the soap soap based technologies and race based technologies and and here is the 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 major the main requirement for these projects so the um, the api requirements that means every api has to be handle all the code operations so we we divide these those apis functionalities like logging mechanism apis and also the the address apis this means that your postal address and geographical address i mean the the registration process for the each of the logging user and and the documentations uh, documents apis means you can upload and download the the any file file formats and audios and videos and even though those uh, those 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 content has to be stored in 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 your, your data storage or in your backend server so the requirements was in another requirement was the 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 technologies and databases technologies and the the requirement was the the java or groovy and it should be the spring boot application with profiling options the profiling is, is the most important part because the uh, the end deployment should be external long de uh, deployment so that means we have to be um, build our our application as a jar format and then 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 any anywhere can deploy the jar and execute this jar and any 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 server machines and that's why the for this this has to be done by the embedded tomcat uh, we don't need to anything to maintain the tomcat uh, for for you cell or, or any installation department so then they have the the, the project requirement has the there has to be server side unit test uh, and postman client testing and and api testing and the and the backend server will depose giza sql server and the final requirement was the the themely based uh, template engine to use the to develop some guis um, basically to the to the api developer has to be uh, has to make some some gui simulator then they can test it the uh, apis is properly working as it is like the web developer did their their web developments so here the data set requirements and then we we divide this data set requirement we can say file upload and file um, file documents and then and then there is a user registrations and user role and ad ad address info data and address info this one so the file documents means the all type of file formats and audios and videos records uh, content for 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 the for the for the for those application and here you saw, you saw the major annotations and the the sequence generations and mainly uh, I, I will show you the detail how 
those annotation used for the development 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 steps so we need to make generation entity tables and we generator and generation value and also the 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 many relation mapping between the uh, tables and then the mapping among the among the objects and we saw here the the major annotation for the spring and spring boot annotations and this is the the most one is the spring boot applications annotations so it do, did the, all the annotations for validation auto configuration all job is done by these those and this is the hard this is the major annotation for the spring boot for running the the u replications and here, here is the project structure this is the standard uh, Spring Boot project structure. It's, it's the project is will be implemented to use the Eclipse IDE. And you, you saw here the uh, really uh, the professional way to to modularize the your project structures like the module model and repository and you see the the resource and service and service in play and utility package and this is the part of the profiling so you can deploy your application to the development and production or any rail or whatever it is you can do anywhere to deploy this one just you can you should add those uh, properties and then you you run the application externally and change these properties externally and your application has to be done automatically to deploy anywhere in your deployment steps in this deployment process so here is the the the, um, the screen screen you see the the building deployment and profiling that means that uh, we we build our rest apis and we 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 packed it like a jar executable jar files and we we have the some 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 environmental settings like in command command lines and then we, we start your start services and then it's automatically start your 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 service uh, based on the where you define your your backend server where is the network i will show you detail in the in the development steps and uh, this is here the, the 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 major requirement was I said uh, the the both uh, the server side test and means the unit test has to be run and and then client side test and these those tests has to be uh, exported or has to be sent to the the end user then they can run it their side to see where the before integrating the the web application web web pages or websites and then they they can run those application of course you have to be sent those um, those 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 test cases to the client and client can run and uh, those uh, those test cases and they they can see the pictures and then um, and they 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 can find out even though in that as a as a, as a, as a api developer or the web service developer you should do that both side in server and client all of the all possibilities of the test cases or test combination of this i i, I attach here like the one of the screen cost uh, cast uh, like the pictures uh, how many uh, the combination of um, all all risk uh, risk uh, client uh, Risk line enforcement, risk risk API testing, screencast. I will show you detail about how can you set those those parameter and combination of parameter and see the pictures and even though you can check it in your server status and also the also the your parameter settings and combination of parameter settings. I found really good tools for 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 REST API testing with Postman and thank you and for 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 watching the the screen uh, the presentation i will do the uh, developments and i uh, testings client side testings and uh, and the uh, and the and the server side testing both testing has to be done in the next screencast please follow follow the next screencast and you'll get the detail overview from the development from the here is the requirement i will talk about a little bit and then you see the developments and then server testing and then client testing and you get the total pictures uh, how the professionally we we did the the developments uh, in 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 the, in the in the in the professional life or we can say in the day-to-day -day life in the professional way so thank you and for your attentions bye goodbye